All right, all right, all right. We're in the scripture. So the question here is, what day did God say it wasn't good? On what day didn't God say it was good? On what day didn't God, uh, just uh, speaking English here, right? I'm going to use the KJV as a point of reference. But on what day didn't God say it was good? Which day? Was it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Well, we don't even have that there. Was it the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day? Which day? Which day? Right? Which day? Because you hear people say that, well, he created, right, um, like the six days. He said it was good. Every day he said it was good. And on the sixth day he said it was very good. I used to say that too. And then I, I overlooked something that I had read. But sometimes, you know, these things don't click at first you know so iron sharpened iron here what day didn't god according to genesis right basic king james version right or you can look at the version you want to look at but according to basic we could get into the hebrew but on what day didn't god say or what day god did not say good what day tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock Mm-hmm. Which day? Which day is it? Was it Monday? Was it Tuesday? Was it Wednesday? Was it Thursday? Was it Friday? What day? What day? What day? What day? Huh? In the beginning. Right? In the beginning. Okay, let's just go through this quickly. Okay, we have first day, right? Well, well let's go to the beginning, right? Verse 2, verse 3, right? And Elohim said, let there be light, ye or... Right, he or right, verse four, and Elohim saw the light that was good, and verse five, and Elohim called the light day, right, um, right, and then he said what? He said what was the first day? Was the first day? Did you see any good there? Did he say good? All right, did he say good? Let's go on right here, and he made the firmament, and it was so, and he called the second day evening and morning. Right. Wow. All right. Did, did he say anything about the evening and morning with the second day? The second day. So if this is the first day, right, he called the light day and the darkness he called night and evening and morning was the first day. Where's good? He, he didn't say, say that, right? He says, and he saw the light, the light, that the light was good. Right? Okay, there's good there, but, you know, Let's go on, right? Let's scroll on. Now we get to the second day. Do we see good on the second day? Okay, he made the firmament, and it was so, it just was, it was what it was. Let's scroll on, right? Let's scroll on, right? We scroll on right here, right? And God called the dry land. Okay, looking at the last part right there, boom. And he saw that seas, he saw that it was good, right? And then goes on right here, 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 that it was so that it was good. And the morning and the evening were the... So let's scroll back here. It's, the, it's interesting because it's actually the second day. We have good mentioned in connection with the creative process that we find in Genesis. And he saw the light that it was good. All right? The day wasn't really called good. But it was said on that first day. We get to the second day. Let the let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And Elohim made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. All right? They didn't say that it was good, but it was so. And Elohim called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. All right? Then we get to the third day. Right? And Elohim saw that it was good, that which he created. The light was called good on the first day. The firmament was created on the second day, but nothing mentioned about good. On the third day, right? You see where it says the third day right here, right? It was good, right? And it was so, right? Then we go on to the, four, the third day right here. It was good. He saw that it was good. Notice right here, the seas. After we have the second day in verse 8, we go on right here to verse 12, right? So that is going on to the third day. 
right? This is the third day. But on the second day, notice the second day, there's no good mention. There's no good mention. Just as a basic thing, because we heard people say every day it was good. Well, according to the Bible, not so the second day. And there's some ancient Hebraic, Judaic, interesting reasonings on the reasons for that. As we go on, just look at these days right here. Right here, we're getting to the fourth day, and Elohim saw that it was good, evening and morning, right? But interesting, the firmament, mm, on that day with the firmament, second day, here he saw that it was good, right? And he blessed them, right? Saying, be fruitful. And that's the fifth day, right? Those living creatures, it was good, right? Then we get right here to the, the that was the fifth day, right? Then the sixth day, let us make man. Right, and then he comes down right here. He makes man, male and female. He creates them. He bless them. Right, and then he says, "Behold, he gives them the herb, right, the the vegetation to eat." So the man was a vegan, or he was more of a vegetarian, because nowhere he gives them debtors. Right, the beasts also have been given the green. Right, everyone was was on those greens, and then we come right here. To the end of the chapter and Elohim saw you see that key phrase God saw my right? Elohim saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good told my oath. so as we carefully look at Genesis chapter 1 my right? first we get the light being created my right? and he saw that the light was good so the light was good and he divided the light from the darkness so the light was good he don't say anything about the darkness, but he divides the light from the darkness. And he called the light day, and the darkness called he called night, and evening and morning was the first day. So good is mentioned in connection with what ones would call that first creative act, and that is light. But notice how quickly light is being divided. Elohim divided the light from the darkness. But concerning the light, he called the light good. Oh, tov, 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 tawab. Somebody said tawab, tov. And that's the first day. But now with this whole firmament thing, on the second day, it becomes very interesting because notice this right here. The key wordage is he said, and then he did, he made. In some cases, he created. But in other cases, he basically asa. But in some cases, he bara, right? Here we have him saying, may the firmament, right? may there be a firmament, right? In the midst of the waters, the upper waters from the lower waters and divide the waters from the waters. He made this, right? And it was so. And he called the firmament heaven, right? Now you would expect that he called the firmament heaven and he saw that it was good. You notice there is no, and he saw that it was good. You note that right there? So this means that on the second day, there was no seeing and pronouncement of good. So it's not true that on all the six days, he called every day good. And on the sixth day, he said very good. What is true is on the first day and the third to the fifth day, he called good he saw and it was good and then on the sixth day creating man male and female zakar unik eba male and female he said tov maod that it was it was very good but what about no seeing and saying this firmament notice the firmament is called heaven kind of remind me of revelation and there was war in heaven did something happen that prevented him or not even prevented him but the reason why Moshe here in his first book does not mention anything being called good on the second day and it's interesting just one outro point right here that the second day right the second day corresponds properly in the proper counting of the days of the week that we call it that would be Monday now think about how a lot of people feel about Monday. <laughs> Monday, oh, Monday, right? Interesting that basically on Monday, right? On Monday, we can say, right? 
that the Almighty did not say it was good. It doesn't use the classic phraseology. You know, Vaira Elohim, and he saw, and he said, Vayomer, right? He does not say Tob, Tawa. So, it is the second day called Monday that there is no mention, right, of good on that day. The first day, good. The light is good. Second day, no mention of good. The third day to the fifth day, the creation, the making, good. The sixth day, man being created. Notice that the key word there is created. Instead that he made man, but it says that let us, what he said, let us make man, then he creates. Notice that. Let us make man and then he creates. Let us make this, but he creates. I'm giving you a hint there. But notice with the sun, the moon, and the stars on the fourth day, he made them. You don't say, he made, let us make the sun, moon, and stars, and then he creates. So some things were made, right? And some things were created, right? For example, I can make something out of something that already is, right? But if there's nothing there, someone has to create something, like create something out of nothing, or the sense of create is that this did not exist in that sense before, from the Hebrew sense. When you make like, I can make coffee, Right, I can make a cup of coffee. Why? Because I already have like the beans. I got some water. These things. I don't have to make the beans and make the water. So that's why it's important to look at the, the creative words. The key words that are used in the scripture. Otherwise people tend to, sometimes to make up ideas that are not really sound. But it seemed to be because they didn't do due diligence. Royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews after the order of Melchizedek. L-O-J, the line of Judah society. Yes, I. Here, here, here. Study to shoot ourselves approved.